Samsung has came with its predecessor, the Galaxy S4, with some tweaks and stuffs in the touch ways. So what will you do to make your old, old Galaxy smartphone to make it look like a Galaxy S4? I'm Shahzad here, and this is the Galaxy S4 Revolution ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S3. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, this is the Galaxy S3 International Variant, aka known as G GT i9 300. So I don't know this ROM will work on any other US carriers and stuff. So I will post a link in the description on which ROM, the compatibilities checker of this ROM. Before I start reviewing this ROM, I really wanted to say thanks to Zodomox, aka known as the High on Android, to just mentioning this ROM and reviewing this ROM on his channel. So uh, today he is the person who just mentioned this ROM to me and I downloaded it and I got uh, and I just flashed this so let's get started with the lock screen itself the first thing people may notice so basically this ROM is based on a Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 with a touch face skin on it so as we seen some new tweaks and stuffs in the Galaxy S4 you can see it right there on the Galaxy S3 as well. The first thing is the notification bar. The notification bar is now changed to transparent so that looks pretty damn good here. And we also have our message, our personal message that we can write here. So you can see I have written my name, you can just click on this pencil here. And you can just change this around and also change the fonts and stuff and etc. tweets. Talking about the lock screen widget here, we have some other widgets as well. I got my music player, this also came from the Samsung Galaxy S4. I got my communication notifications here, if I get some new uh, messages and stuff, it will notify me here. Here we have the uh, other icons to just other widgets to add on the lock screen. So. I, we don't have any camera uh, widget here. I think it looks good. We also get our old five, uh, I, I would say, the shortcuts here on the lock screen. And here we get this light effect here you know, that we seen in the Galaxy S4. So here we unlock, and here we are on the main home screen. It just looks damn good. It is just very very awesome RAM, ROM. I have to say that and it just looks gorgeous on this HD display of the Galaxy S3 as well So here you can see the uh, just a Transition effect in the TouchWiz ROM. Uh, TouchWiz launcher is changed a bit from the Galaxy S3 to Galaxy S4 It is a bit different than the last transitions effect that we seen on the Galaxy S3 so it is a bit different but it just looks good here uh, we have some of the new widgets like the active application so you, you can just see all the, your active applications here and talking about the ROM uh, RAM I have uh, as I mentioned earlier I have a Galaxy S3 international variant with a uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM so it takes a lot of RAM here here you can see it's it is 703 MBs are in use right now, but it just works pretty good in this MB as well. Least amount of, uh, amount of RAM as well. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we also have the ga Galaxy S4 music player here. And the main thing about this ROM is based on the Galaxy S4, obviously. And uh, you can see the blue color is very, very dark now. And it just looks good. And uh, the blue color is pretty dark and pretty uh, colorful as well. So here we have the old music player stuffs here. And uh, talking about the music main screen here. Here you can see a bit difference. And we have this little button here to just mirror it to uh, and just share it with another device. Here we have our volume controls and this button to just pull it back down again. So that's about it with the music player. Talking about some of the uh, pre-installed applications, we have a lots of pre-installed applications, just like a new video player here. So here we have the recently played video, and we have some of the our personal in the personal tab. We get some of our personal videos and stuff, 
and in the downloading tab we can download some of the uh, videos from the store but basically it is not available in India where I live so that's about it with the video player that it's pretty pretty new so we have our other applications pre-installed as well and if you take a look at the main thing at the galaxy s4 is the camera application it is just damn awesome on that galaxy s4 we have some of the new uh, beauty face and some of the extra stuffs but we don't get those kind of features here it is not available in this one just a bit interfere is changed a bit not a pretty much we have some of the new buttons here which i think looks good just good not very very fine but we don't get any kind of other stuffs in this one no other stuff just a old galaxy s3 camera with some of the new functionalities just a few of the new functionalities that I will mention again that I will mention uh, a little bit later on so that's about it with the camera if you take a look at the calculator it is also changed a bit uh, and I think it just looks like a iOS 7 now but I think it looks pretty good talking about the scientific calculator here here it is the scientific calculator that's pretty much it with the calculator we also come uh, the ROM uh, also comes with the stock gallery and a 4.3 stock camera so that you can use the 4.3 photo spare camera in this one so that is really good and it, it, it is working pretty fine as well so you can use the uh, stock gallery and the stock camera available here the music player as I shown you earlier talking about the gallery it is a bit changed uh, and you can see here clearly that the galaxy s force gallery is available here so that looks up and talking about the gallery there are also some of the new features available here also at the face tag and the tag buddy and uh, if i just quickly go into my download sections and show you a few of the new trash. okay we get this photo frame that can allow you to just frame your picture and you can use uh, pretty much or you can draw something and just and we also get this photo note feature which i think looks pretty good what it does is basically allows you to write on the photos of uh, back of your photos so you can just uh, use it as your reminders so if i just quickly click on this here it will just show me that uh, reminder on the back of the picture so that i think looks pretty good and a really really nice one here we don't get any kind of other new features here just about it with the photo spray photo frame and the photo note yeah we get a new thing that i forgot to mention that is the detect text it will it is also came with the this rom itself so you can just detect the text uh, sometimes you take a picture from your magazine or a newspaper so you can just detect that text copy it and paste it uh, to your messaging or uh, some other social networking so that's about it with the gallery talking about the settings it is perfectly changed the uh, all all the things are changed here so we get our Wi-Fi uh, net in the connections we get a network connection and you can see it uh, as I mentioned earlier it is purely purely based on the Galaxy S4 so you can't you never get the Galaxy S3's uh, things here why I'm mentioning this is because you can see here the buttons looks a little bit different than we see in the Galaxy S3 it is totally different that we seen in the Galaxy S3 so you can see we have the Bluetooth the data usage the mobile network and the you can see in the connection here we have the NFC and SPM switches here and we get the nearby devices screen mirroring and keys via Wi-Fi in the my device you can just see the personalization tab you can where you can just tweaks with the lock screen display LED indicators and few of the extra stuff we also get the driving mode which allows you to just freely drive with your smartphone we get the power saving mode accessibilities and we also get the input and control with the motion 
here we have the motion stuffs so we have the smart stain the smart rotations here we also get the voice control that uh, earlier known as the cmd voice controls in the accounts tab we get nothing just our original accounts here and we have the cloud uh, just like a iCloud here in the more we have the gps and locations and services we have the security and the application manager battery and the battery battery on this one it is just awesome uh, it is just works pretty good and it is very very awesome let me just take you to the about device and status and you can see the device status is custom right now and you can see it is a galaxy s3 gdn and 300 and it's running on the jellybean 4.2.2 my baseband version is basically Ariza. If your if you flashed a new firmware or a new ROM or something uh, just different from your baseband version, you might uh, just uh, you might have some some problems. Uh, I live in basically in uh, I live in India. So when the time I flashed uh, one firmware on my Galaxy S3, the Jelly Bean 4.1.1 firmware on my Galaxy S3, uh, my SIM card was not working at that time. That time I searched on the internet and I got to know that there is an app called Adisa Patch. So you can use the Adisa Patch to just get back you get back your uh, your baseband version, and uh, you can use basically your SIM cards anywhere. You can see the build number and the uh, in the uh, last here you can see the s4 revolution rom version 4.2 so that's about it with the settings uh, as well we get uh, all organized it in the folders so we get a new uh, voice recorder nothing uh, really changed here we get the totally new s voice which is basically uh, i didn't hear that Please say it again. It is just very, very bad, so I will not use this. But you can just use this to just touch, search of your contact, record your voice, and uh, switch on and off the driving mode with the offline as well. So that's about it with the touchways. And we get the clock here, which looks a little bit different and not a big difference here. And we get the optical reader to read out your text from the newspapers and stuff. And here are some of our uh, uh, installed apps here. And we have some of the other apps as well. Uh, with the app, uh, with the ROM itself, we get the update me. So when the time the new update of this ROM is available, you will be able to update your ROM uh, with this application. So we have the FM radio as well, the My Files is available here, Google Playbooks, the Samsung Hub is here with the Samsung uh, links, the super user as I am rooted. We get the watch on, the trip advisor and as I mentioned earlier, the Ariza patch and the chat on and the Google Plus photos and stuff. Talking about the notification bar, it is a bit different. We get the 4.2 quick toggles here which you can just edit it by just hitting this pencil button here. And I think it just looks pretty good, damn good than the older Galaxy S3 firmware or the Galaxy S3 4.1 ROM. We also get the toggles here also so if you don't want to just switch it here you can just use it from here. And the main thing about this ROM is this one is pretty fast than the Galaxy S3. Uh, I am a, uh, I don't really use uh, my Galaxy S3 for a heavy usage so I just at that, uh, that time I just turned on my power saving mode and when I was in the 4.1.1 uh, official firmware of the Galaxy S3 when the time I just power uh, just turned on the power saving mode that time my phone just sucks it runs pretty pretty slow the uh, frame rates were, were pretty low that time but when the time I just turn on the power saving mode on this ROM it just works the same if I just turn it off it will just uh, just uh, brighten the display a bit but doesn't make any changes with the uh, the uh, interface itself so you can just save your battery by just enabling the power saving mode and it will not affect with uh, any uh, it will not affect your day to day usage so that is pretty good so guys, I think that's pretty much wraps up with my review of this really nice 
uh, ROM for the Galaxy S3 called the S4 Revolution ROM. So if you enjoyed this video, it will be really, really awesome if you give this one a thumbs up. And I will put the links and the compatibility list in the description so you can check that out as well. So you can also check out the uh, High on Android's channel to just get this uh, review on his channel as well. I don't know the review video is available on that channel or not but um, he has reviewed that video uh, a little while ago so you can check that out as well. So comment down in the description what you think about this ROM and, uh, and subscribe if you don't, didn't yet. I will be coming out with the new videos in the future soon. And I'll see you all guys in my next video. Peace.